Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Search Results tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to view and customize your search results in Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so when you generate a search in Matrix, you'll typically wanna quickly view the property information that's important to you and your client. Now by default, Matrix displays your single line results with whatever fields were initially set up with your system. To modify this, we'll simply need to access the results field settings page from this property types default display. And from here, we can either clear our fields to build a custom single line from scratch, or just remove the specific fields that we no longer want to display, either individually from the selected field section or from the available fields. Now by extension, we're also able to select any additional fields that we'd like to include, either by searching visually or by using the filter. Now, if you'd also like to customize the order of how these fields will appear on your single line display, simply grab the handle, then drag your field into its new position. All right, so once all of your fields have been set, you're now ready to name and save your custom display. And you'll find this customized display listed among the other displays. And again, it'll remain this way until you choose to modify it in the future. Now, if you'd like to set the order of how these results should appear, you can do that from the sort settings section. And just like before, we can add or remove fields according to which ones we'd like to sort by. In this example, we're going to simplify the order by only using the status, price, and number of bedrooms. And what this essentially means is that Matrix will first sort all of my statuses alphabetically. In this case, grouping all of my active properties first, followed by my sold properties, and finally, all of my expired. Then within each group, the prices will be ordered from the lowest to the highest. And if there's any properties within each of the statuses that have the same price, then my results will display the ones with the lowest number of bedrooms first. Now, if you prefer to reverse any of these individual sort orders, simply toggle the sort by selecting the associated icon. In this case, I prefer to see the price of properties within each status listed from the highest to the lowest. And you'll notice that Matrix breaks down which fields have the specific sort order, which can be modified on the display in real time. Now to work with the entire list of properties, we're able to select all of them at once or select each of them individually. We're also able to narrow down the results to use just the selected properties or discard the selected properties and use all the others. All right, so let's go ahead and increase the results viewing area so that we can maximize the total number of properties on the page. And we can preview any of these properties simply by selecting anywhere on the single line record or switch to our gallery display and select a property image from there as well. And from here, we can view any of the property's primary photos or choose from the ones that are in the gallery. All right, well, this concludes the search results tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care. <music>